All right. Here we go. I don't care. <laughs> Too much. That's the overdrive. All that noise. But tough shit. I'm not in the mood. Let's go. Drum track and we're done. Bye. Ready? Two, three, four, go. Two, three, four. Oh, oh. Thank <laughs> you.
got it clear here. Oh, my voice. No effects. This uh, has been potted. This has been set up exactly like his, but I'm not going to argue with you. No, it's not a Gibson. It's a friggin Epiphone. <clears throat> but it plays better than the Gibson I had. So I had the Gibson totally redone into something different. <clears throat> so unless I find another deal, this is my Randy Rhodes uh, Les Paul replica. I don't give a crap that it's an Epiphone. Epiphones are superior to Gibson's. Plus, this is a 70s. So it's even better. They were way better. The Japanese Epiphones in the 70s were way better than Gibson. I know, dude. I worked in a damn music store when I was a kid. Killeen Music in Burbank, man. I played every flipping instrument. Even though I didn't know what I was really doing, I could tell what was good and what wasn't. That's why I never bought the Gene Simmons Axe Bass. You're asking 275 bucks for that thing. And it was number 69 out of 100 or whatever it was. And I'm like, oh, that'd be cool, dude, number 69. No one ever bought it. So when they went under, they put it into storage. It went on eBay like 15 years ago. It went for several thousand, several hundred thousand dollars. 
because I put a bid in for eighty nine thousand dollars. I'm like, this is crazy, but I want it. And boom, I was outbid. And then it just went into the stratosphere. And I'm like, holy crap. But anyways, getting back to uh, Gibsons, I hated them because their necks were gigantic and I couldn't play them. Not that I can play anything anymore now. Anyways, you know what's screwing me up? This ring. I should. I switched rings and it's actually messing with my guitar playing. So this ring needs to come off. This ring needs to go back on here. And this ring is really, I could tell the difference and it was screwing with me. sounds killer uh, I'm sick I am going back to bed I will see you next week maybe unless I feel really good I'm leaving then I'm gonna see you I won't be here but uh, I might do videos on the road okay metal subscribe I'm getting up there it's like 660 something I was watching that Stevie T dude and he was talking to this chick and she's like, I'm not going to, you know, subscribe to you unless you subscribe to me. So he put her picture and her subscribe button on, and he's like, click. All right, now it's your turn. So she subscribed to his, but this Stevie T dude has got a, way over a million. He's a YouTube star. Huh. I'm trying to get tips off him, but he's just a freaking, he's, what, 30-something years old, 30? And uh, he's funny, he's a goofball, and he shreds like crazy. He plays horrible, ugly guitars, but he's got to deal with them, so, you know, whatever. <clears throat> but I'm struggling just to get to a 1,000. And this stupid bag got from like a couple hundred way up to like 1,800. Just because she got a little, little glimmer on Stevie T's video. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Good night, metal!